In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a waving flag animation, which is attached to a moving object, like a boat or a ship. We'll make use of cloth physics in Blender to create this, and it is quite easy. So let us start with a blank new scene. We will first hide this default cube. Now go to the Add menu, and add a plane. We need to make it upright, so change this X rotation angle to 90 degrees, and let us move it up, maybe by 4 units. We will convert this into a flag, so we need to change its length, according to the dimensions of the flag design that we intend to use. Let us scale it up by 2 in the X dimension. Then in the Object menu, apply the rotation and the scale factors. Now go to the Modifiers tab, and add a Subdivision Surface Modifier. Switch over to the Simple option, and change these levels to 4, or 5, on both the places. Now apply this modifier. And as a result of this, we will get enough number of subdivisions for this plane, which is very important. Now, we want to pin this flag at these two points. So let us go to the edit mode. Deselect everything, and select these two endpoints. Now go to this object data properties tab. Create a new vertex group, and click on assign, so that this vertex group contains these two endpoints. Now go back to the object mode. Then go to the Physics tab, and enable the Cloth Physics. We will go with all the default options, but we have to make two changes. First under the Shape section, we can see a field called Pin Group, here we have to select the Vertex Group that we have just created. And under Collisions section, we have to also enable this Self Collisions. If we now play the animation, we'll see that the cloth falls down, but it has got an uneven or a rough surface. So we need to add some smoothness to this cloth. Let us go to the Modifiers tab, and add another Subdivision Surface Modifier. We have to use the Catmull Clark option, with a level of say 2. And we can also enable the Shade Smooth option. If we again run the simulation, we'll see that the cloth is now quite smooth, but we want this cloth or this flag to wave in the air, in a horizontal fashion this way, instead of falling down. So we need to add some force field in our scene, maybe a wind force, which will enable the flag to wave in this direction. Let us stop this animation, and then from the Add menu, we'll add a force field, maybe of wind type. We need to rotate this field correctly, so that the wind flows in this direction. So we have to change this Y rotation angle, to 90 degrees. And, we can also reposition this field, just behind the flag. It does not actually matter, because by default a wind force will affect the entire scene. But we need to increase the strength of this field sufficiently, so go to the Physics tab. We have to ensure that this shape is plain, and we have to enter a high value in this strength field, something above 5000. Now if we run it again, the flag will fall down initially due to gravity, but then the airflow will force it upward and it will start waving in the air, just like how a flag should behave ideally. Let us now add a stick, or a hoist right here, and we can also add a suitable texture for our flag. First, stop the animation, and then go to the Add menu, and add a cylinder. We need to reduce its diameter, to make it thin, so let us change these two factors, to 0.05, and enlarge its height by a factor of 3. We need to then move the stick to this position. So let us move it up like this. We can directly enter a value of 2 here. And we need to also move it toward left, so that it matches with the flag end. We will now add a texture for our flag. So switch over to the rendered view mode, and enable the HDRI lighting as well. Now go to the materials tab, and create a new material. Here in this base color, we have to select image texture. Then click on open. Now select the picture that you want to apply to your flag. If we run the simulation once again, it will look fantastic, and it remains attached to the stick. But please remember one thing, if you simply enable the HDRI lighting from here, it won't take effect when you render the scene. You have to set up the world environment suitably, using an environment texture, which we have discussed separately in another tutorial, the link is given below in the video description. We also want the flag to be hooked to the stick. Because the stick should be able to move to any other location, and we want the flag to follow the stick wherever it goes. So let us go to the first frame. Now select the flag, and go to the Modifiers tab. We have to add a modifier called Hook Modifier. And it should go to the very first position. So this sequence is very important, first we should have the Hook Modifier, and then the Cloth Modifier. This Cloth Modifier is automatically added by Blender, because we have enabled the Cloth Physics. 
and all other modifiers for the smoothness of the cloth should go to the end of the stack. If this sequence is not maintained, it won't work correctly. Now for this hook modifier, in the target object, we have to select the stick or the cylinder. And in the vertex group, we need to select the same vertex group that has got these two points of the flag. Now, we can either add some keyframes and move this stick manually, or we can attach it to another object which will move here, maybe like a ship. So let us bring back our default cube. And we can hide the force field. Let this cube play the role of a ship in this example. We need to attach it to the stick. So let us move it a little bit toward left, like this. Now select the stick, press the shift key, and select the cube together. Then press Ctrl P to bring this menu and select the object option. So the stick will now become a child object of this cube, and it will move along with the cube, wherever the cube or the ship goes to. We will take our ship to somewhere here. So we need to keyframe its current X location. Then go to the end of the animation. Let us move the cube toward left. And we need to keyframe this as well. Now go to the first frame. We need to bake the cloth physics for the changes to take effect. So go to the physics tab and scroll down. Expand this cache section. Delete the existing cache files and then start the baking process. Once the baking is done, we can verify the final result. So the cube is now moving and the flag is moving along with the cube while waving in the air as expected, and later you can also replace this cube with a ship to get the same result as we saw in the demo. So this is how we can create a waving flag with a moving object. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.